billions of years ago, there was a lake in Jezero Crater, but exactly how long ago and how long it lasted are big unknowns. And this matters in the search for ancient life. Layered sedimentary rocks can help provide this information. The Kodiak Mesa is a landform that reveals some of the history of ancient Lake Jezero, thanks in part to the Perseverance rover. From the ground, it became clear that Kodiak is a stack of layered rocks. And as I presented in episode four, with the help of Mars Guy for scale, it's the sloping layers that tell the story. These are clear evidence that the mesa was part of the delta deposit back when the lake was present. So the delta was much larger before erosion took over, leaving Kodiak as an isolated remnant. Recently, Perseverance entered the Sita terrain, which contains the lowest rocks yet explored, and that makes them the oldest. We'll be looking at panoramas that include these hills and the rim of Jezero Crater in the distance. On Sol 153, Perseverance parked about 75 meters, or yards, away from these knobby outcrops on the edge of Sita. This is where MassCam Z took some really stunning late afternoon images. It was about four in the afternoon when this panorama was acquired looking to the south. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The distant crater rim to the left is still fully sunlit, but the hills to the right are going into shadow. The full zoom capability of MassCam Z captured this scene. The tallest of the hills here is the one traversed by Dust Devil number 7 that I showed in the previous episode, but it was the ridge of outcrops that really got my attention. Some of them have horizontal features that sure look like layers. So far, Perseverance has not yet driven up to any layered rocks. The possibility that these rocks could be sedimentary deposits from ancient Lake Jezero would be a big deal that would make them prime targets for collecting samples. But we know from experience in Gusev Crater on the other side of the planet that not all layered rocks are formed in water. The Spirit Rover imaged these rocks from its final resting place on the edge of the home plate feature. It turns out that these sedimentary rocks are volcanic ash deposits, not lake sediments. On Sol 157, Perseverance drove closer to the ridge of outcrops. The next day, MassCam Z got the best images yet at about 12.30 in the afternoon when the sun was high. In these views, it's less clear that the horizontal features are even sedimentary layers. There are other ways to make features like these. Horizontal fractures can form when deposits of nearly molten ash from huge explosive eruptions cool off. Then erosion can take over. Here's an example from a welded tuff deposit in Chile. Exfoliation is another way to make layers after a rock forms. This is a weathering process that I presented in episode 10. So at this point, it seems unlikely that these rocks are deposits from ancient Lake Jezero, but volcanic rocks are key targets for sampling because they can be accurately dated back on Earth. That would help geologists better understand the history of Jezero Crater. <laughs>